Welcome back. It's been a few days since we last played Shogi Wars. Uh, I know I promised to analyze my games from last time. I've been tied up with work. We're going to play some more games anyway, and I'll find time this weekend to do analysis. I don't know. This will still be fun. Um, so as usual, we'll be playing 10-minute games. Uh, and I'll continue trying to play Third Foul Rook, and we'll see how it goes. That's our agenda. It's a cute little dragon. It's a cute little fire. Alright, here we go. You can see the wheels of time spinning. Good luck. Okay, it didn't take my move for a second there. That's fine. Interesting. Whoa, okay. Um... Let's see if I can persuade them to make the same push. We'll just tuck the king in this way. Um, build our half Mino castle. Uh, also consider doing something with these silvers before it's too late. Um, okay, that's somewhat aggressive. Is that really headed for my bishop's head? I'm not seeing where the silver's going. Uh, oh, it's to prevent bishop 5-5. Five five. I see. Well, that's one way to prevent it. That's for sure. Um, okay, we'll complete our half Mino castle. Um... Oh, I see. It's a dual purpose thing. As I'm considering how do I build my Ishida shape, uh, this prevents me from building it. Okay. So how do we fight this, uh, then? My hands are tied. And they are. Hmm. I'll just push everything on this side, and it'll be okay somehow. Um. Okay, also we'll try to discourage them from pushing further on this fourth file. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Um. Hmm. Well, um, is my king feeling safe? Do I want to do anything? This castle's not suited for that sort of an attack. Um, I guess we'll build a slightly different castle here. All right, I didn't quite expect that. Um, Nanafun. I probably should have expected this, I guess. Uh, 
All right, so I'm attacking from my castle, which generally, and in this case, is unwise. Um, will prevent them from putting this upon right up in our face. Yeah, I'm attacking on the wrong side of the board. Does the stream title mean the opposite of what it says? Well, it depends if it's opposite day or not. It could. No. No, I'm just remarking on how silly and whimsical some of my attacks are sometimes. Um... Uh, I'm not sure why they did this bishop drop. It seems to me like they had other options. Okay. I was considering bringing my rook up and then taking this pawn. I forgot the silver is actually doing something. Oops. <laughs> Um, Okay, let's have some fun. Or at least attempt to have some fun. There, we've built Hymeno Castle. It took us a moment to get there, but now it's built. I mean, yeah, I've allowed them to drop a pawn right in front of my gold general, and I have to retreat. Um, which is painful, but we got something for that. Um, so my bishop's hitting this knight here. I'm hoping to find some other attacks soon. Uh, yeah, well, we've played Mino Castle a lot. Um, I think that this transition, trying to get to High Mino Castle, completely failed. So next time I need a better idea. Um, oh, I misread this. I can't push this pawn. Well... Uh, that's challenging. Go for me. All right, I guess we'll use our knight. It's not doing anything, but it also wasn't doing anything where it was a second ago. Hmm. This ain't good. <laughs> oh boy. What have I done? I don't know. Um Optimism. <laughs> How bad could this move be? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't even take their pawn here. 
Well, well, well. Um, hmm. Truly, I've made a difficult position for myself. Oh, what to do? This night move doesn't make it's not profitable. Um, hmm, that makes me even more confused. But okay, I'm not sure if nerves got the better of them, as it did for me. Like. Uh, it's, I'm saying uh, I was nervous, and I think they too have been nervous in playing some of these moves. Alright, alright, yeah, my Rook's attacked. Fine. Whatever. Um... That's not a great square for a knight. Oh, I see. They're... Okay, I walked right into this. Bishop drop. Um, and then I have to figure out what to do with this rook again. I've been playing too quickly since I have no time... Or 3 minutes 12 seconds remaining. Um, I'm playing much too quickly. And it's getting me into trouble. Yep. Mm -hmm. What to do here? Um, I think just take one step away. Avoid doing anything too aggressive. Yes, I'm allowing that. Well, they had no need to do that immediately. Yes, I was allowing them to promote this knight, etc. But, um... Oh, interesting. I missed that. Okay. Yeah, my castle is quite deformed, but what about it? Um, mm. All right, we'll defend this as best as we can. Five generals are just lounging about trying to hold this together. Um... Yeah, this move strikes fear into the heart of an opponent. Um, either that or they're trying to figure out how to checkmate me. But it buys me some time. Um, okay. Again, I'm not sure why they're attacking on this side of the board. Uh, fine, we'll take this promote. 
Um, Okay, we have a very unusual castle now, but that's fine. Next up is Landstrop here. And the Night Drop there is eventually coming. If I had one more general, I'd be in awesome shape. But I don't have one more general, so we'll play the position we've got, not the one we wish we had. Um, I only had a bishop. There's no way I'm getting a bishop. Uh, oh, I'm silly. Uh, yeah, I had to respond to that threat and I didn't. Um, this ain't good. This ain't good. If I'd taken the knight, I'd been in a much, much better position than where I'm at now. Now I'm just in, like, a very not good position. Um. I have no way to attack. <laughs> um... Like, I'm going to have to repeat this sequence over and over and lose a move every time I do it. Um, but this seems to be my fastest path to attacking them, so I'll take what I've got, but it's not good. Uh, oh, crap. How did that happen? Uh, okay. We are now attacking from our castle, which is not a good strategy. I should have taken the silver, but I was not thinking. And yeah, this is... I am super busto. Alright. Oops. Okay, well, thanks for the game. All right, I want six generals if we include the jewel. Sure. Why not? All right, let's play again. So what happened wrong that game? Um, I attacked from my castle and failed to exploit their similar mistakes. Good luck. Actually, they didn't attack from their castle uh, last game. Um... All right, third foul rook, here we go. This time, maybe I'll actually remember the castle. Um,
Yeah, I should learn, like, there's some way I could better repel this sort of thing so I don't get in so much trouble in the first place. That doesn't look right. Um, there's no hurry for me to do anything about it. Oh. Okay, this would be Hymeno. If only they had, like, played the other part of the Mino castle. So, um... Let's try this. Last game I wondered if I could play this in front of my bishop and not suffer too much for it. I'm still curious if this silver 5-5 five five is a bad idea. Uh, the idea is that I can exchange silvers, then bring the rook forward safely. Oh right, I forgot. Previous games, this has been a concern too, and this is the reason that usually I reject that idea. Um, okay, so, yeah, now I'm forced to retreat, and so I've lost time. Um, Uh, pawn takes or gold takes? If pawn takes, they can promote a bishop. If gold takes, they can promote a rook. Uh, it's not good. They promote a bishop anyway. Okay. Is that really how this goes? Oh. Well, um... Seemingly, they can promote this bishop by placing their silver all the way over here. Instead of later, where it could be useful attacking my castle. Although, like, the silver drop is quite fast. Um, yeah, if they drop it here and my rook runs away, they promote the bishop. I was hoping I have some counterattacks somewhere. I'm not sure that I do. Okay, um... I have a silver and a bishop in hand and no pawns in hand. It makes it kind of difficult to start attacks when I have no pawns in hand. Um, if they drop a silver, I could consider protecting my rook trying to trap their bishop. And this would allow them to drop a rook, and okay, yeah, I don't succeed in trapping the bishop. So, we've considered it. It's not good. Right. So, plan B is just this and try to exploit what they've done somehow. I'm a bit vague on details at the moment. Okay, that's confusing. Um, they've trapped their bishop. And suddenly my awkward play is rewarded. Now they could sacrifice the bishop here and get my silver and start some really cool attack. And at this point, that seems to be their best option, but still. Um, yeah, still, I got something out of this. Uh, okay. It's very difficult for me to use my bishop effectively here, or two bishops effectively. Um, because I've played so many other awkward moves.
7分。All right, we're gonna do this and probably regret it. Um, my idea is I'm gonna line up both bishops and then sack one of them for something. Okay, I've got their rook off of this file, which was my primary aim. Um, what a mess. So if I place that closer, they drop a silver here. And I'm forced to give up a bishop for a silver instead of a gold. Here I'm trying to get a gold general because that's what I need to defend my king. But also I'm going to try to promote and take the rook if they let me. Or actually, bishop takes pawn is probably the actual idea here. Although... That doesn't really get me too close to the king. Since I don't have a knight. That's slow. Um, we'll promote here. Promote again. Right next to their king. So we have an attack immediately next to their king, and we'll try to make the best of it. Uh, also, we've kept the rook off of this open file. So this rook is slightly away from attacking my king. Oh, also I have a pawn. I could force this promoted silver to move somewhere. Yeah, let's repair our castle before it's too late. Alright. I didn't think they could afford such a move. Um... They've got a lot of pawns. They've got a lot of a lot of pawns. My king is way more vulnerable than I thought. Um, so what do we do now? <laughs> um... Well, it's only a knight. We attack without fear. <laughs> Possibly also without common sense. Oh, game one, I got crushed. Yeah, my opponent played well throughout. Um, I mean, he did waste a few moves, but overall his game was quite good. So I'm trying to attack with, like, two pieces. It does not seem like my attack is going to succeed. <laughs> well? Um... Go for me. I 
I think I can survive a silver general or two against my own king. Um... There's one legal move here. Play the legal move. It's not a trick. Oh, well, maybe it is the trick, because I can actually pick off their rook. Um... My real aim was to pick off this gold here, but... Oh, gosh, I don't know. My king is in a dire situation, so I need to remove this attacking piece. Um, so this rook is no longer attacking my king. Man, my rook is not happy. My silver is not happy. My king is not happy. <laughs> uh, well, the king is going to go on a magical journey in a minute here. But um, the rest of the pieces, I don't know how to get them out of this knot that I've produced. There's no time to rescue the silver. Moving the knight would take three turns, uh, which loses two moves. So that's not happening. Um, the rook seems tied up. Well, at least the rook's not a target where it's at. It's safe at home. Uh, this gold could maybe participate in an attack, but it's slow. The knight's actually just as fast as the gold if I want to attack, so... Hmm... Yeah, my attack is not very fast. The fastest piece I'm going to get is the Rook, and I need that to pick off this token. Yeah, I don't know if funny's the... I don't know, each opponent's different. It's okay for them to allocate time however they want to do it. Um, even if I would recommend to an opponent, if you have one legal move, just play it. But um, it's okay to do whatever you want. Yes, I'm contemplating if they move the gold over, if I take gold takes rook drop. Uh, they could block with something here, and then we exchange golds, and I can continue an attack. Um, whereas if I do gold takes, then a rook drop, they can block with the gold. Huh. Also interesting is if they move this gold over to hit my horse, maybe best is if I just react by bringing up my knight. Okay, wow. If I take... Alright, so if I take silver drop and silver drop mate, so I have to run. The 
question is, how far do I get running? Um, okay, I could take or I could move up. Um, I think taking this is okay. My king does not escape to their side of the board, but my king does escape. Thanks for the game. Yeah, with no Biyomi, that's uh, definitely a troublesome clock situation for them. I think, I'm pretty sure they had the better position for a good part of that game. If not, almost all of it. Good luck. Yeah, and this is why uh, when I play serious games, uh, I play on a site where they have BOYOMI time controls. Um... I forget if this is... Uh, feasible. <laughs> well, that's cute. Um, not seen that one before, so I'm a bit nervous about that. Um, wait, really? Are we sure about this? How sure are we? I'm trying to recall if this is something I saw once, or if I'm just making this up. Um, but I thought this is a thing, no? Masada style Ishta. Alright. Hey, if it lets me activate my pieces, I'm all for it. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. Wait, no. Crazy sacrifice here, and then dropping the silver there does not win a rook. Um, that would just be crazy. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I have an idea. Is it a good idea? Time will tell. And by time, I mean like the next 10 seconds, because like they're certainly going to go attack this. And I'm going to take here and drop the silver there. And we'll see just what a bad idea it is in about 10 seconds. Um, but, oh, okay. Um, Yeah, 
guess we'll take this. And then try to play a normal game. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. No guarantees. Um... Oh, there's an even better way to punish that. Okay, yes, I didn't play it quite right. I seem to have gotten away with something here. Yeah, I couldn't remember if there's other move orders. I think, uh, obviously since I played it wrong, I don't, it's kind of sad for me to credit people for my mistaken learning, or credit people for what I've learned mistakenly. Um, whoa, 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 really? Free Rook Airlines. Okay. I guess they believed in my attack more than I did. I'll take it. Um. Instead of trading bishops, the book move is to push the pawn. Okay. We'll bear this in mind. Um... Hmm. Man, we have got an interesting position ahead of us here. Um, oh my goodness, there are too many possibilities. So many ways I can mess this up. <laughs> oh, they don't have a bishop in hand. I keep thinking, like, if they have a bishop, then if I drop this, I'm in trouble. They don't have a bishop, so... They can't gain a tempo against my rook by dropping a bishop, or a silver, or anything like that. So yeah, we protect against forks, we set up the shish kebab, um, I think that's the technical term for it. Yeah. I'm not doing this to be mean-spirited or anything, it's just, like, they set up something of a castle. And I don't see a way to immediately smash it. I did consider bishop drop here and bishop takes sort of stuff, and I just don't see a mate there. So we're going to proceed the slow way, um, somehow entering against this. I guess take the knight, go back, or take the knight, take the lance, and then Tokin can take here. With the knight being able to recapture Tokin. Oh! It's actually not an issue that the knight can recapture here, is it? Token takes, knight takes, I push the pawn, they can advance the knight. Depends what my risk tolerance is. Yeah, they're trying to slow my attack. Um, they put a rook in the center of the board. Uh, I don't feel like exchanging my bishop for it. Wait, if I push this knight takes, if I promote the rook, 
No, if I push this, they can move the knight up. Um, I'm just confused what I do with my rook. Go for me. All right, so they have two pawns in hand. This feels so slow, but again, they get every square here covered against a bishop drop, so we will proceed the slow way here. Just, just line up all the pieces as close to their king as I can get, and then see if I can find a tactic. Okay. Oh, I see how they gain a tempo from that. Interesting. Um... Yeah, this was their idea. Problem for them is that I don't need my rook here. Um... Problem for me is that my bishop is kind of awkward. Hmm. All right, so I am attacking two things at once. One, I am attacking the rook. Two, I am attacking this side of the board, which their rook cannot defend. So they need to make a counterattack, and it needs to be decisive. That might be difficult for them to arrange in this position. So probably they're just going to go back and attack my bishop and hope to weather whatever storm I may or may not have planned here. I'm erring on the side that I might not have it planned out, because I definitely don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I want to take here, take the knight, see if I can somehow smash the castle from this side. Actually, my bishop doesn't need to be here. I don't need to let them take my bishop. Um, so I failed to promote the bishop. Um, mm. don't like the idea of giving them a bishop on this wide open board, but I don't see a way to make use of it. Okay, we'll find a way to use it now. Um...
All right, we'll take this. This seems pretty clear. I mean, yeah, they did shut out my bishop. Um, but this looks like a nice path toward their king. Perhaps I missed a mate. Hmm. I don't have a knight in hand. It would be nice to have one, but I, it takes a move to get a knight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my priorities are here. Um, other than don't get mated. There's so many ways I could mess this up. That's the surround from the left. Hang on. This is the surround from the right. Oh, crap. Um, whatever. We've taken all the pieces. That's the same thing as winning, right? No, it's not, but... Oh, jeez. Alright, let's not panic. The emphasis on the not panic part. I totally misread that. This helps me approach their king. Um, we'll continue approaching. Sanjibio. Thanks for the game. Oh, time pressure makes fools of us all.
hope that was an enjoyable spectacle. Um, I need to work on checkmating and having fewer blind spots. If I knew exactly how to mate, we wouldn't end up in those odd positions. We would mate earlier. Anyway, hope that was exciting. Um, yeah, thanks for pointing out Masada style uh, Ishida and. Okay, even though I did punish that opening, there was a more accurate sequence. Yeah, it was unnecessarily complicated. Yeah, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, I'll have to review my games uh, come this weekend. Um, hope we all enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. See you next time.